What is going on, Lemon Army fan? Welcome back to another Pokemon Go. Guys, we got some very, very, very big news from Niantic confirming, guys. The Deep Sea Scale and the Deep Sea Tooth are now evolution items. Phoebus has a distant requirement. All right. It says right here, Niantic uh, support evolution items was updated confirming the Deep Sea Scale and Deep Sea Tooth are the two new upcoming evolution items. The following text is now on the support page. We'll go ahead and go down and read this. It says, select Pokemon require an evolution item as well as a can as candy to evolve. There are seven different types of evolution items. The Dragon Scale, Deep Scale, or Deep Sea Scale, Deep Sea Tooth, King's Rock, Metal Coat, Sunstone, and Upgrade that can be used to evolve these Pokemon. You can collect evolution items by visiting your nearest Pokestops, all right? DS scale, which is abbreviation DS scale is deep sea scale, okay? Deep sea scale and tooth are used to evolve clam pearl into Gorbis or a Huntail. Depending on which item it is used, making this the Generation 3's evolution line that requires new items in order to advance. As usual, these items will be available from Pokestop drops and there's no indication that the chance to obtain them will be increased on launch or it could be a while before you get both of them. I don't know how the rarity levels on it will be, but it should be similar to actually getting your seven day streak evolution item. It's gonna be hard to get, I'm sure. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people like back when this, it took me a while to get upgrade, you know, and such. Upgrade was probably the hardest one to get out of all of them for me, but I did get it. And um, when I did find that, it was super exciting. So I'm sure it's gonna be the same thing with the deep, the deep sea scale and the deep sea tooth. Once you find that, it's going to be exciting. Alright, it says, uh, it could be a while before you get both of them, uh, given how large the evolution item pool is now. With these two additionally, there's a bunch to try to get. In addition to the two, uh, the new items, the same page is confirmed that some Pokemon like Phoebus will have a walk-in requirement, blah, blah, blah. We already know Phoebus to evolve into Militech. You just got to walk it, and then you got to throw a bunch of candies to evolve it. You don't need any evolution item to actually do this I, I mean it might be a shortcut i don't know it might be a shortcut using the evolution uh item the new the uh new one the deep sea scale it might be a quicker way to just directly evolve it i'm not really sure but we can all speculate on that it says at the moment only phoebus has his buddy walking distance evolution requirement in the game master but uh let's go into these files let's go into these files here it says template id uh, VO349 Pokemon Phoebus. It says quick moves 231, 221, cinematic moves 276. Some of you guys like this kind of stuff, some of you guys don't, I'm not really sure. Animated time, it shows 1.333, 2999, uh, 4468689. I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm not even going to read the numbers. You guys can see them on the screen there. Evolution IDs, Evolution Branch, Evolution 350, Evolution Item Requirement, Candy Cost 100. Uh, KM buddy distance requirement, but uh, yeah guys it is confirmed Niantic did not drop the information yet on Twitter or anything like that But the deep sea scale and deep sea tooth are literally on the brinks of being added to the game guys So deep sea scale and deep sea tooth are gonna be added to the evolution item pool meaning we will see uh, clam pearl gorbis and huntail within the coming weeks guys look for clamperl gorbis and huntail to be added all right let's click this and see if it gives us okay let's just go ahead and talk about this a little bit all right you guys got Clam. this is gorbis uh, it says pokemon go clamperl can evolve into huntail which a max cp of 2140 that's pretty good and a gorbis max cp 2281 you guys can see gorbis 2281 is fantastic the stamina is terrible, the defense is okay, the attack is great, uh, the, it's not that bad at all. It says, evolution process in the core games included trading a Clamperl, holding a deep sea uh, tooth or hunt for a Huntail or a deep sea scale for Gorbis. I don't know if you're going to have to do that and through trade. Uh, most likely not because that wouldn't make any sense. It's like if you got the evolution item and you got Clamperl, you trade it over holding or something. I don't know how it's going to work. But I don't think you're going to need to trade it. I think that's just the game mechanics. Alright, it says, Both Huntail and Gorbis are fairly good additions to Pokemon Go meta, or meta. Falling right in the middle of the middle tier of water Pokemon with a strong attack and glass cannon-like stamina. 
Huntil and Gorbis have the swift swim ability which doubles speed during rain. So I don't know, that's a bonus bonus move there. Uh, Pokemon Go Clamper is known as the Bivolve Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon Go Huntail as the Deep Sea Pokemon and Pokemon Gorbis as a South Sea Pokemon. All of them are pure water type Pokemon. Alright, you guys got right here Clamperl. He has a uh, attack of 133, defense of 149. His max CP is going to be 1091. So Clamperl in the wild without weather boost is going to be a level, thir uh, level 35 is 1091 max CP. Uh, right here, you guys got Huntilt. Obviously, we already went over at 2140, max CP 2281. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on this, guys. Are you guys excited? Are you guys excited for Huntilt? Are you guys more excited about Gorbis? Are you guys just excited overall for new evolution items? What do you guys, what, what do you guys think about this? Leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Make sure you guys drop a like down. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys back very soon with some more Pokemon Go. Peace.